Well, big game hunting season is arriving in Colorado, and wildlife officials have a message for hunters tonight. Leave your drones at home. Colorado Parks and Wildlife is seeing more and more cases of hunters illegally using drones to track their prey. Our Dylan Thomas is live at the CPW headquarters in Denver tonight. And Dylan, breaking that law can carry some serious consequences. It definitely can. It's against state and federal law to use a drone in order to scout out wildlife as you're heading out on a hunt. Not only is it illegal to do that during a hunt, it's also illegal to fly one of these things in and around most state wildlife areas and state parks. Well, tonight here at the Colorado Parks and Wildlife Department, they're making sure to tell the public you need to know the laws surrounding drone usage because the laws can be very stringent, including citations that could be handed out for those who use drones to distract animals from everyday tasks like eating. As drone ownership continues to increase. Colorado Parks and Wildlife law enforcement officers are seeing a big uptick uh, in the number of people that are going out on hunts and bringing their drones along with them. Using drones to hunt is strictly illegal in Colorado. And now law enforcement is on the hunt for those breaking the law. It could be as much as a $125,000 fine if they can prove that you've used a drone to locate and kill an animal. Using drones to spot wildlife is seen as cheating in the hunting circle. It really undermines fair chase ethics and the idea that um, you're using an unfair advantage with wildlife. That's very unsportsmanlike. Nick Quinones is both a drone owner and hunter. To go and be able to fly a mile out there and not actually put the work in, you're not really giving the animals a fair chance. Currently, it is illegal to fly or land a drone in the 350 state wildlife areas and most of the 41 state parks. While Canones agrees with restrictions of drone use while hunting, he feels drone videography should be allowed along scenic areas. I think you should be able to have some type of scenic area where you can do some filming and stuff like that. But the law is the law, and Parks and Wildlife officials say they will be strictly enforcing it as technology continues to develop. The law enforcement officers are looking out for it, so you don't want to lose your drone. You want to, you want to keep it and enjoy it, so, so be aware of the rules when you come out to, to wildlife areas. Now, there are some state parks that do allow you to fly drones around. It's important to look up which ones those are. For example, Cherry Creek State Park and Chatfield Reservoir, they both have airstrips for small aircrafts like this where you are allowed to fly these uh, aircrafts around. However, it's important that you do not leave that airspace because authorities do have the right to confiscate these items if you're breaking the law. We're live in Denver. Dylan Thomas covering Colorado First. All right, thank you, Dylan. And